Hey everyone, it's Nesta. We are finally here on the Palm Jumeirah. Filming a villa here has been a dream since I moved to Dubai. And what a villa we have in store for you today. BCI have just completed fully renovating and it is currently on the market. So we'll leave the price and the specs in the bottom corner. And of course, if you need them, we'll leave the details in the description down below. So I really want to take a look inside. So let's just go. Now, before we head inside, I want to show you the front of the building before I actually melt in this heat. So it has a smooth stucco exterior. And what I love is those levels of that tiled roof gives it a bit more of a dimension. You have your terrace from one of the guest bedrooms upstairs here. And you also have an automated garage with space for two cars. And you have a covered parking space for an extra two cars as well. Also, this greenery here that they've implemented with those palm trees gives such a great vibe. And this walkway all the way up to the front door, you have that wooden front door with the glass and travertine details. Also, on the side of the building, you have a walkway which leads straight back to your pool and that private beach. Right, let's just head inside. So as soon as we come in, we immediately have a view onto the sea through the kitchen and the great room. But I want to show you some of the features that we have in the entrance. So the first one is this pad here so this is a fully automated home and you can see these pads dotted around the whole home they control your lights your ac your curtains and your veils now the walls are wood clad you can see some of them have that laser cut design and on the opposite side as well you have a small table with that recessed in lighting but mark if you come around this way i want to show you so this is the first door that we have now the first door leads into the second door so this is door inception sorry bad joke again but talking about movies, this leads into your home theater. So in here you have a 4K Sony projector and a Bowers and Wilkins surround sound system. Now obviously there's a reason why there's two doors there. It's for the soundproofing. Now Marco, if you head back there just one second and press the buttons for the curtains. Now this room is the cinema room, but it can also be used as a lounge room. Once you've opened the curtains, there's a little bit of a different vibe in here. The sofa looks so comfy as well with that coffee table in the front and you can see we have that travertine wall in the back. Now let's head through this way and we'll go to the kitchen. Now the Palm Jumeirah is a man-made island and it's made to look like the palm. So each one of the leaves or the fronds as they call it is a gated community and we're on one of those fronds right now. Coming back through the lobby area, you can see that view I was telling you about. But let me show you, these are the stairs that head up to the first floor. They have a nice tree there giving that little zen vibe. Through this way, you have a floor to ceiling glass sliding doors which opens up to the backyard so you can go that way if you wanted as well. Now, if you remember from our first video that we did of that apartment, these are those floor to ceiling glass sliding doors which open up straight into the kitchen. That also had a stunning marble aisle in the middle and this one is beautiful with that white marble with this convection cooked up here in the middle. All the appliances in here are gagging out except for one. Now, I'm going to show you, this takes a while so I'm going to press the button now, this, this side of the kitchen, you have the glass which looks out onto this greenery which makes this sort of cleaning a little bit more enjoyable if it cannot at all be. You have a microwave and a convection oven as well with this tinted glass shelving here which you'll see on the other side of the kitchen. Now, if you head back a little bit, you can see this has done what it's supposed to. So this is actually a convection fan that has come out the middle of this island. Now, for being a fan as well, it's not that noisy. It has that light coming down. So we'll just drop that back down as we tour the rest of the kitchen. Before we head back around, there's a couple more things I want to show you. So you have the Gaganau dishwasher just here and a really unique feature that I've never seen before. You have these sockets that come up out the kitchen so you can use your Nutribullets or your kettles or whatever you need. Now to the other side of the kitchen, here we have two wine coolers and around this side you actually have a breakfast bar with these sort of cloud chairs. I love them. There should be a coffee machine but that's arriving in two days and we're a bit too early with those glass cabinets either side. Now this is a feature that I've not seen before. Now these are pushed to open, so that's your fridge and I've never seen one this wide. Obviously soft closing as well and underneath is the push to open freezer as well. 
crazy. I've never seen those. And that's made by Gaginau. Now, if we head this way, we're going into the great room. Now, this is so well lit in here with the spotlights above and that natural light coming in through those huge windows. The first bit here is the dining area with that marble table and these leather chairs. The touch and feel feels so nice. Such good quality. Now, this all leads around into the living area of this. So you have a huge TV right in the back with that TV setup and that glass coffee table. Now, this is a really unique sofa that I've never seen before. Uh, you'd think these cushions would fall off, but they're actually fixed into place. Here on the back wall, you have a combination of the marble that's laser cut, the wood that's laser cut, and that recessed lighting in the back. This looks amazing. But the main part of this great room is that it can actually open up into your pool area so there's that in and out experience so if you hold on just a second we're going to do that now now this has got to be my favorite feature of this home just how open it is and that whole in and out experience in the winter when it's not this hot you could have it open all day and you have that sea in the background now we'll start with the features out here because it is absolutely roasting down here is that walkway that we have to the front of the building that we saw at the start of the video here you have a small seating area sitting out looking down onto the beach this is your private beach area here obviously there's no one swimming right now because it's around 40 degrees you have a little sunbed here with that pool you have a cooling system as well for your water now i want to show you some really important features down towards the beach there is also a shower there as well so if you've had a bit of a swim in the sea you want to come back up you're not bringing all that sand all the way up to your house also a separate shower just here in the corner as well Apologies that the pool out here was a bit of a frantic one, but it's so hot. I'm already sweating through. It's been two minutes. Now let's head back through. Now, as we head back through, there's a couple of final things that I'm going to show you on the ground floor. We go through this corridor towards the stairs. There's hidden doors here. So the first hidden door is your guest bathroom. Now, if you take a look inside, there's marble throughout and the fixed vanity with the floating sink here as well. That huge mirror. To head back out, there's one more secret door that I want to show you. Now, I keep getting confused. I've actually made the mistake quite a few times, so it's not this one. You go in here. We don't usually show you maid's room, but this is one of the best ones that I've seen. We actually have a double fridge freezer in here, two washing machines, and this is actually the nicest maid's toilet I've seen. It's got a full walk-in shower with the rain head above and a floating vanity as well. But let's head back outside. We're going to head upstairs. The last thing here is the door. So this is the entrance to the garage that we had. So we had the automated garage. This is the entrance from the house. Now let's go upstairs. So on the first floor, we have those white marble floors throughout. Now behind you is the entrance to the three bedrooms. Altogether, there's five bedrooms on this floor and the primary bedroom upstairs. On the landing, we have this two-tone office area that BCI have created, and directly across is this modern bookshelf that they have. But if we head through this door here, this is the first guest bedroom. Now you'll notice that there is a difference in here. They have that Lithuanian wooden floor, which gives a bit of that warm feel. And on the walls, you have that trim effect that they've done just above that leather simplistic bed that they have right in the center. That trim effect is also continued onto the wardrobe. Then you'll see these are pushed to open as well and they have that lighting that comes on when you open it. In the corner here, you have the seating area. And one thing that I do love about this room is they have that window right over there which looks out onto the palm. So when you wake up, you're looking straight out onto the sea. Now this door here is your ensuite bathroom. You have that walk-in shower enclosed in that glass and the cream marble all around. Also this custom made floating vanity with the cupboards and shelving to the side of it. Now on the way back through the lobby, I wanna show you another feature as well. So you see those spotlights which are inside this indented black strip which runs all the way down the corridor. It runs parallel with the AC. So the AC seems like it's part of the design of the home. It doesn't stick out too much. Now this is the second guest bedroom. You can see they've used that same trim effect like they did in the previous bedroom and they have that beadboard design just up next to the ceiling. But obviously I'm gonna talk about the color of this room. We do tour some stunning properties here but they usually have that clean, sleek, modern look. And it's such a pleasure to tour somewhere with a color that pops out so much like this and contrasts so well with that wood. 
We have a balcony here which looks out onto the palm on that side, but it's not a full view. You have the other row of houses. We're going to see the beach side on the other side. Here in the center of the room, we have another leather bed, but here it has those soft sides. I want to show you this as well, a pocket door which enters into your ensuite bathroom. The first feature in here is this closet here. They have above the water closet, which opens up. You have the lighting inside. The rain head contrasts so well with that white marble. And I want to show you, they've used a different type of marble for the shampoonage, which is continued above that custom floating vanity. Now, I really do love the veins in that marble. This entrance here, so it has that open where they don't have the doors, but you have so much storage underneath. Now let's head back across the hall. We're going to show you the other bedrooms. Now, before we go in them, I want to show you a really cool feature that BCI have done. They've converted this guest bathroom into a full on spa. So you have a steam room here in the back with the mosaic tiles. They've used that gray marble in here and a huge walk in shower with that tinted glass surrounding it and obviously that water closet. Such a unique feature in there. You don't really see it in homes like this. This door leads into the largest of the guest bedrooms. I'll tell you why it's the largest a little bit later in the tour. Now we do tour a lot of homes and we see some unique features and ideas. This is a first for us. So you have the bathroom connected to the bedroom. And in here you have that water closet in front of that walk-in shower surrounded by that tinted glass. Creates a great contrast with that cream marble. In here as well, we have that custom made floating vanity. In the bedroom, you have the Lithuanian wooded floors throughout, of course, and this art feature, which can be utilized in my mind anyway. You can sort of put coats up there, hats. You don't really have to use one of those chairs, you know, that every room has where you put like your half clean clothes on there. In the center of the room, you have this leather bed in front of that wood clad back wall. And you can also see that they've used for this side, they've laser cut that wood, so it gives it that effect. So before I head into the walk-in closet, Marker, can you press that button so these shears open up all the way? Now, if you come back around, let me take you in here. So the walk-in closet has that same open design we saw in the guest bedroom too, I think. So no doors or cupboards, but you have those shelves. And in the back, you have a view onto the Atlantis Royal Hotel, one of the landmarks of the Palm Jumeirah. So let's open this door up. I'm sorry if there's any noise. Oh, no. Got to press a button. So we open this up. Now, in my mind, the concept of this room is its own little apartment, actually. And with that bathroom and bedroom connected, this terrace here, once you open it, it has that in and out experience. And you look out onto the sea and the Atlantis Royal Hotel, it feels like you're on the beach. But let's head back out and across the hall into the fourth guest bedroom. Now, this goes straight into your walk-in closet, again, with no doors. The bedroom, this one has a view onto the Palm Jumeirah as well, straight out of this window here. Actually got a Juliet balcony just in front with those stunning views. In the center of the room, you have this bed behind that. So we have that trim effect on the walls, the bed right in the center with the hanging lights either side. Now they kind of remind me of those sort of 19th century lanterns, but just the modern version of it. Across from you, you have this sort of TV setup, but without a TV, what I've noticed as well is quite a global trend right now is in rooms you don't really have TVs. It's just built for sleeping, so it doesn't take your concentration away when you're trying to go to bed. This door here leads into the ensuite. Before I head in, I want to show you, see that that's the AC. Now they've fitted that in so nicely with those black tones that we have from the chandelier. Now if you head inside the ensuite with me, we have the double vanity here in the back and that blue and gray marble contrasts nicely with that walk-in shower surrounded by that tinted glass. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, if you're a detective, you might have wondered what this door is and why it's a double vanity. You are actually connected to the other room. So these two rooms share the bathroom. At the back of the room, you have these push to open cupboards with that same sort of 19th century trim that we've been seeing all around, which has continued onto the walls. Over there in that corner, you have a window which looks out onto the sea with a working desk. In the center of the room, there's this bed on top of that carpet. It's probably the largest bed frame that we've seen till now. And obviously you have that home automation system that we've seen everywhere as well. Now let's head upstairs to see the primary bedroom. Now I told you earlier that I would explain why that is the largest of the guest bedrooms. This sort of core and shell of the house, that bedroom was the primary bedroom. But what BCI have done is they've added an extra floor to this mansion. So the whole primary bedroom is just one floor. 
Now, as you come in, you'll notice that wood is quite a prominent feature in this bedroom. You have that screen separating the entrance and the actual bedroom area. In here, you have this vanity here with that huge mirror either side, these glass cupboards, which are pushed to open as well. And if you come a bit closer, Marco, come this way. I want to show you these details just around the mirror. These are laser cut. I love these things that BCI just add to these homes. Now across, this is the walk-in that we have, the walk-in closet, which stretches all the way down this way. You'll notice there's so much storage with like really unique drawers. If you have a look, this is a watch drawer and you have two of them. I actually don't know how many watches you'd need to have. Down this way as well, there's actually a glass which separates it. So you can see into your primary bedroom, which can, brings in that natural light from the terrace and doesn't make that sort of walk-in closet feel too small, if you know what I mean. In the bedroom itself, this is so huge. This bed is massive. I think this must be a super king. It has that sort of backboard with the embroidery, which looks really nice, with the felt padded back wall and the marble either side. Also really unique are these chandeliers, which kind of look like baubles as well that you have on a Christmas tree. At the front of the bed, there's this bed sit in that dark brown color, which goes really well with those wooden tones. And obviously, you know, I love chairs. So look at these two chairs. They look like the comfiest things you'll ever see. I'm gonna have to actually take a seat in one. <laughs> Now here we have that marble behind and it's been book matched as well. You can see that it's got a unique design and it kind of looks like a mountain, I think. But before we head out onto the balcony to show you that view, I want to show you the ensuite bathroom. Now we've got a dual pocket sliding doors, which if you open one, it opens the other as well. If you head inside with me, now this has travertine throughout and it gives it more of that spa feeling, if you know what I mean. The dual vanity that we have also comes with that travertine and you have the floating cupboards underneath. They've actually laser cut these cupboards and you'll notice that they've done that with this marble that they have either side of the mirror and on this back wall here as well. Now, if we head over to the other side, this has got to be one of my favorite walk-in showers that I've ever seen. So if you go in, you have that view onto the palm and the Royal Atlantis in the background. Now, I don't really take baths myself, but if I lived here, I probably would with that view. You have the freestanding tub, but my favorite thing is this huge rain head shower above. Now there's so many knobs here. I don't know what turns on what, but I can see they've got so many exits, so many different settings that it must have. And you have that ambient lighting coming down as well, all covered with that tinted glass screen here. Now let's head outside to the terrace and take a look at that view because it's the sun's coming down now. Stop there, let me press the button for the shears. Now this opens up just like it did downstairs, although it's not, the doors don't open both up, but it still has that in and out experience. And my God, it is so hot out here. So we're gonna show you Duran really quickly. Down here, you can see onto your pool and onto that beach. This feels like heaven, honestly. I think the Palm Jumeirah is probably one of my favorite spots in Dubai. And if I could pick anywhere to live, it would be here. You have that view in the background. It's not as hazy as it usually is. It's very humid. I'm already starting to sweat even after a couple of seconds. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stay here for a bit longer. So if you stay with us just for a couple of minutes, we're gonna show you some of the night shots of this place. Now we're gonna end this tour with this stunning backdrop. You can see why we've been wanting to do a villa on the palm for so long. And it's thanks to BCI who's allowed us to tour this amazing creation. Now we've also hit another milestone, which is 2000 subscribers. So as Lewis Hamilton would say, we are so grateful that everyone who's watched subscribed so far. We've loved making these videos and we hope you've enjoyed them as much as we have. So I'll just see you in the next tour.